Hey guys, Mike Linares here and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Today we're talking about electrolytes or electric light as I like to call them. Electrolytes are found in the fluids and they light up your body with this electric energy. So I call them the underwater electric disco dance party of the body. Because please remember this one token of information. Where fluids flow, electrolytes go. Now what are electrolytes? Electrolytes are ions that are found in your body fluids. They help to conduct electricity and energy, which helps control body fluids and maintain homeostasis, this balance of the body. Basically, they help the body send messages from cell to cell, and nerve to nerve, and organ to organ, kind of like little paper boys relaying vital messages all over the body. So without them, your body, your brain, and basically your life would cease to function. So today we'll be going over three things. First of all, what disrupts electrolyte function? Secondly, which foods have the most electrolytes? Something that select all that apply questions love to ask you on your nursing tests. And also third, electrolyte values and priorities. Hmm. What are my long-term goals? Where do I see myself in five years? Huh, still in nursing school? Paying off student loans in the next 50 years. <laughs> no, not those values and priorities. I mean laboratory values that you will be tested on, like, for sure. Also, priority signs and symptoms, nursing assessments, as well as those crucial nursing interventions. Basically, everything that you should have highlighted in your book. So I'm taking the guesswork out of it and highlighting the book for you. We're only covering the most important things that love to show up on nursing exams and ultimately the end club. Now let's get started and roll that reel. Now as mentioned before, electrolytes help you pass electricity to the brain and to the nerves, but mainly used in our skeletal muscles, helping them to squeeze and contract from the muscles in the heart to the muscles in our deep tendons, even to the muscles in your intestinal tract, also known as your GI tract. Now, if you ever played sports or even talked to a personal trainer at the gym, you probably heard something about electrolytes. Even a coach has probably told you, you gotta drink your Gatorade to increase electrolytes. And even team moms will give out oranges at baseball games to increase electrolytes. And this whole time, you've probably been thinking, what the heck are electrolytes? Well, electrolytes, again, are found mainly in the fluids of your body. Because wherever fluids flow, well, electrolytes go. And since your body is around 60 to 70% water, well, your electrolytes play a key role in making sure your body is moving and grooving smoothly. Therefore, it is vital to keep these electrolytes in balance. Now, we have two terms for balance in medical terminology, therapeutic range and homeostasis. So guys, let's break this down. Therapeutic range is the range of concentration at which a drug is most effective with least toxic effect to the patient. So when a nurse gives K writers, or basically potassium, as IV piggyback, it's technically a medication that needs to bring the body back into that normal range, that therapeutic range. Our second term is homeostasis, the state of equilibrium or balance that is maintained by a self-regulating process in the body. Or in other words, it's the teeter-totter balancing act that your body does every single minute of every single day to make sure you're in balance. Woo! That sounds like a lot of hard work. The electrolytes are doing a great job. So I just want to say from the bottom of my myocardium, thank you, electrolytes. Okay, now that we've learned a little bit about what electrolytes do and how your body loves to keep them in that narrow range of balance called homeostasis, let's introduce our six most famous electrolytes like movie stars down a red carpet, or in this case, a red blood vessel. Actually, we have a correspondent in the field. Magic Mike, are you with us? Yes, Michael, we're here at the red carpet known as the red blood vessel, and oh boy, it's a busy one. We're all here just anxiously awaiting and anticipating the presence of the annoying electrolytes. And oh my gosh, here they come. First on the list is King Potassium at 3.5 to 5.0 microequivalents per liter. He's the king of action and contraction, especially in the heart and skeletal muscles, keeping each muscle cell charged or basically polarized via the sodium potassium pump. His slogan is, I'm the king of action and contraction, baby. Straight out of contraction, flexing on y'all every day. Now, king potassium is the most common ion in the ECF, that extracellular fluid, the fluid outside the cell. 
He's obtained through your diet via fruits and green leafy vegetables, absorbed in the intestine and excreted out of the body and into the body via the bowels and the kidneys. He is one cool cat eye. King Potassium. All right, guys, thanks for watching only one part in our full video here at SimpleNursing.com. If you guys click the link right here, you can get access to our full course as well as our new quiz bank, which is really nifty. And also, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel right here. And last but definitely not least, a big thank you to our script team and nursing family who helped us put together all these nifty videos.